Good morning guys, uh, this is Angel and you're watching Angel's Way of Adventure and for today's video, I'm gonna paint some of my lures. Uh, I'm gonna put a uh, base paint with it. This is the lure, it is a 3.5 rattle uh, lure. It's a 5 grams lure. I bought it on the eBay and there's a sprue in it and I'm gonna polish it because that's the sprue from the mold I'm just gonna polish it a little bit with a sandpaper so that it will not appear when you uh, paint it just a little bit and then I'm gonna put it on my rock for painting just a small box, a uh, small wood, and I drill it and I put it on my holder. And now I'm gonna <clears throat> paint it with a silver uh, lacquer paint. It's used for cars so that it will stick to the lures um, very good and it won't peel out easily. I'm just gonna paint it. It is my base coat. It is silver. I like using silver because sometimes when I paint it with a uh, transparent paint, the silver will shine and then it will serve like a scale of the fish, like that. It's shiny. I'm gonna paint it all because this is my <clears throat> project for winter and I'm not able to paint it during a snow so I'm just gonna paint it all now the leaves here are changing color because it's autumn but in a few days it will be gone it will drop on the soil now i'm gonna dry it on my drying rock it spins so that it will dry faster and now we're gonna paint it i'm gonna paint it with red yellow and orange stripe i don't know what kind of fish it is it's just a random color that i choose i just want it like that first i'm gonna paint it red in the head now it looks like a red head uh, lure it's pretty nice lure even though it is just silver and red but i'm gonna paint it with yellow and orange first i'm gonna paint the head with red color and now i'm gonna paint orange just a random color i don't have a pattern for this kind of blue i just want it like that way I think it's cool I'm gonna paint orange on the tail I'm just gonna paint uh, two, two pieces of lure and now the yellow one I'm gonna paint it in the center just like that I hope you can see it it's almost orange at the back and then yellow in the center line I'm supposed to be putting the red in the middle so that the color of yellow and orange will be highlighted but I'm gonna make it this way and for now I'm gonna make a 3D eye for this lure. I need this leather punching 
uh, tool it has a different sizes of puncher now I'm going to use the 4 millimeter uh, hole puncher and a scissor this is a good scissor and a double sided tape we need it and of course the holographic sheet this is the one that I made for the 3D eye first we're gonna put a double sided tape at the back of this holographic sheet I'm just gonna put it like this and so that we can cut it lengthwise but we're not gonna remove the protected uh, sheet from this double-sided tape because this double-sided tape will serve as the <clears throat> the the tape or the 3d eye it will stick to the lure just gonna cut it so that it is manageable And now we're gonna make a circle pattern with it using our leather puncher. Now I'm gonna use the 4 millimeter because the exact eye size for my lures is 4 millimeter. We're just gonna punch it to create a perfect circle. Uh, 3d eye just like that it's pretty easy because this tool is pretty sharp it can punch and then make a perfect circle with it now I'm gonna put a double-sided tape in this uh, plastic so that we can put our uh, holographic um, circle in here so that it won't fly away when we're painting it it will serve as the holder for our eye just gonna remove the other side of the tape remove the protected sheet and then <coughs> excuse me put the eye in there uh, pacing up is the holographic side it's pretty sticky just be careful with it just one by one you need to put it you need something to hold it just like that it's pretty a little bit hard but if you put it all together it will be okay and it will hold in there and never go around or mess around while you are painting it and putting a uh, epoxy yeah it stick together but you can just peel it one by one it's hard so, yeah so I'm just gonna cut it in here then stick it to the tape and now put it all together and I'm going to use this deco art uh, paint it's black for the eyeball I'm just gonna put an eyeball one by one With a paint, hope it will 
stick in there my pointed tool is not taking a lot of paint no yeah now it's working so i'm gonna put it every piece of it And now I'm going to use this uh, Art Resin uh, Clear Epoxy for the protection of the paint for my lure and also for the 3D eye. I'm just gonna mix it one is to one. Yeah, you don't need a lot of it just a few drop and then it'll be okay because this kind of uh, uh epoxy is it's it's a very good epoxy for protecting our lure so that the paint will not peel off when the fish bite it because this kind of epoxy it's uh, when it's hard it is not that hard but look like a rubber and it will not peel um, very easy because it's not brittle it's uh, flexible we're just gonna put the epoxy on the lure but first I'm gonna put the 3 eye of course on this uh, lure I'm just gonna put an epoxy on the body and it will highlight the paint when you put an epoxy on the lure it will make it very shiny and now we're gonna take some of our 3d eye that we made and put it on our lure and as you can see the 4 millimeter uh, puncher makes a 3d eye that is perfectly fit to this small lure there is a uh, eight sizes for the leather puncher that you can make for my bigger lure, I use an, uh, different puncher because it is bigger but when I'm doing a small lure like this one I'm just gonna use the required size I'm gonna measure the, the placement for the lure just put it in, it will stick because of our double sided tape that we put at the back of this holographic eyes as you can see now it's perfect we're just gonna put the epoxy resin so that it will be protected and will not peel up from the lure and it will highlight the colors of the holographic and your paint it's pretty nice just gonna paint it with the epoxy just make sure to put all around the lure and never mess a spot it will protect your lure from peeling up and it is a uh, good protection too too, so that the lure if there is a bigger fish when the fish bite it it will never crack and our excess uh, epoxy we're gonna put it on our 3d eye and now we're gonna dry it to the drying rack it's supposed to be a rotary drying rack so that the epoxy will not uh, <coughs> go on the one side it will spread out 
just like that I'm just painted it the two pieces now this is our final product I don't know what it's called but uh, I like it so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoy it thank you so much